In this third part of the Resynthesis How To videos, we will breathe life into this synth bass sample. To end the sample when we release the note, we activate the sustain mode of the amp envelope and adjust the release. Let's analyze the pitch and transfer it to the corresponding root key in the C3 range. This way we can play the bass in the mid range of the keyboard with the correct pitch. Now let's listen to the synth bass with normal sample playback. The higher we play, the shorter the length of the sample and the faster the resonance sweep becomes. Fortunately, with resynthesis, we can keep the sound the same over several octaves. Our synth bass does not contain any noise, so we can activate immediately the resynthesis module without decomposing the sample in advance. The synth bass uses a sub oscillator and it needs the extra frequency resolution of the high definition mode. It sounds much smoother with it. By increasing the acceleration, we can make the sweep faster. The sound stops when the end of the sample is reached. To sustain our synth bass, we activate an alternating loop and set the loop markers near the end of the sample where the sound is steady. Let's activate the trigger option to hear the sound when we click the waveform. We get less of the sweep if we adjust the position marker towards the middle of the sample. By setting the sample start velocity range, we can control the amount of sweep via velocity. With purity, we get a darker or brighter version of the synth bass. The sweep becomes less or more pronounced through varying formant shift and formant scale. The possibilities are almost endless. Best of all, any of the presented parameters can be automated. Let's listen to a sequence with some automation. This was the third and last part of the Resynthesis How-To videos. Thank you for watching, and now it's over to you to craft your own samples with Backbone.